Hello, today we're going to go over how to set up sorting layers for your sprites. This is so you can properly set up objects, foliage, and buildings so the layer wraps around it. Keep in mind that we're going to be using the orthographic camera. That may or may not fit your project's needs, but I can show you guys a way to get lighting to work really well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and create a new level so we could start from scratch here. So I'm just going to do some random letters here. So if you're following along and using my sprites, you can go ahead and reference the, the video before shows you how to properly import tile maps. Go ahead and drag it in. We're just going to zero out the location and then rotation, make it 270. What that does is it flips it completely um, in the right direction so we're looking at it properly. Um, and if you ever lost, by the way, like if you're way over here and you don't want to zoom in, just double click and it brings you here. We're going to go to edit, projects, and then in these project settings, you're going to scroll all the way down to rendering, engine, rendering, and then you're going to scroll all the way down. And you're going to find the translucency option. And you want to make sure that separate translucency is checked and then you want to make the translucent sort policy make it sort along axis negative one on the y-axis so we're just going to go ahead and bring in the player start okay make sure he's above now what we're going to do here real quick is just scale it up four by four so it's nice and big for us to mess with. Let's start, let's just bring it up. If it ever says bad size like this, it just means that it's colliding with something. So you just need to bring it up and you're good. Perfect. Next up, you're going to go ahead and find your player blueprints. And you're going to click on your camera. You're going to make sure it's set to orthographic. So far, what I've found, this is the only thing that you can actually have some sort of sorting with um, so you just want to make sure it's on orthographic um, ortho width i just have it 1000 and you can mess around with this for your project your sprite size all that stuff ortho near clip plane should be at zero and then far clip plane this is 15,000. still learning but so far these settings have been working really well for me so what you're going to do next is you're just going to click on your player sprite under materials you're going to go to this drop down and then you're gonna pick translucent lit sprite. So translucent lit sprite. And what that does is it makes it so you're translucent, so you can actually add your sprite to a sorting layer. And then at the same time, you can have it to where lights work with your, go to your tile map. You right click and go to edit tile map. You can bring it up here. And then you wanna scroll down to the material and do the same exact thing. So translucent, unlit, make sure it's unlit. Unless you want it to be lit and you don't want any extra lights, that's totally up to you. But it's either unlit or lit, but unlit makes it so you can have lights. You go to the details panel, make sure that the ground is still clicked, search, sort, and then this option will come up for translucency sort priority. So we're just gonna set this to one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our BP player, make sure your sprite is clicked, and then you can search sort. And then you can keep it at zero because that's technically in front. Your player is working. So what you're going to do, the reason why he's all black is because you just need to add a light. So go ahead and do lights, directional light. So you want to make sure you actually do translucent lit sprite. To bring in your artwork, this crystal for example. So we'll just bring it in. Let's just zero it out, zero, zero, zero. Scale it up to four on the X and Z axis. Let's just bring it out into the middle with, and we'll just do 270. That seems to be the best option. Whatever object you want the player to be behind or in front, make sure it's on the same exact sorting layer. And I recommend keeping the sorting layer on default. Otherwise you'll have to manually change every single object that you add. And what you could do is go to edit sprite and then you want to change the pivot mode to bottom center just like that so then the arrows are down here so when your feet cross this line then that means you're behind it and when it's in front you're in front of it. 
Sweet. So let's test it out. Boom. And what you could do here to make it look even cleaner is just add a little um, collision to it. You can add it by editing again. And you can even mount it to your thing so it doesn't go away. But you can do edit collision on the top right. And then what I do, you can do any shape. So like if you want a circle, you can have a circle. But I think for this example, I will just use a square. And then I'll just lower it. Oops. If you click on an edge, you move the edge. And then if you click inside the box, you can move um, the whole entire thing like that. But yeah, so I'll just go ahead and move it like this. Awesome. I usually turn off can player step up on because we're not really going up on the Z axis. But if you go ahead and go back, um, collision thickness, I like to turn this up to 100 because I really don't want the player to go over it. There, now it works. So you can see, you can use this for trees, like um, you can see as I'm going behind it, it clips behind and that's perfect and then the crystal comes up in front so I'm technically behind the crystal. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you would like to see next. I hope to upload more frequently on paper 2D and ZD stuff so yeah just let me know. Thank you so much.